After a long time, I got this time. Uh, so let me build a conversation on something today. Mm, and the topic which is coming in my mind at this point of time is about uh, something which I have learned just few minutes ago. I was showing someone these flowers. Nice flowers we have. So, so that person said it's flowers. So someone just corrected my English. So I'm very thankful to someone that someone is correcting my English. I'm surrounded by kids. As I decided when I came, I came back from Himalayas, I decided that I will be working only with kids from 8 to 18. 8 to 18. So most of the time I'm surrounded with kids now. Uh, either in the school or uh, at boxing centers or at some some places but only with kids. Why? Because what I believe is uh, people after 18 they have already shaped their consciousness. Already consciousness being shaped already and once your consciousness is shaped uh, which is nothing but your operational memory. So we have two types of memory. I always say this A plus B. A is your evolutionary memory and B is your operational memory. So if he is, for example, 16 years old, then his operational memory is just 16 years old, but the evolutionary memory is same. We come with the evolutionary memory. Evolutionary memory doesn't change. Evolutionary memory remains evolutionary memory from a day one. That's the gift. We have, have to understand that the very reason of evolution, the genesis of evolution is when one cell decided to share DNA, genetic material, to another cell. That is evolution. Everything started after. Uh, Everything started from there only, right? So, evolutionary memory is being already transfer transferred to us. We come along with evolutionary memory, but operational memory has to be a quality operational memory. So, if someone is going and doing the same thing again and again and suffering with monotony, uh, monotony, the reason I'm saying suffering because it's a disease. Monotony, lethargy is same. How can we think like this that we have taken birth on this planet Earth and we do only one thing at a time? or only one thing, focus on only one thing, and the vision, and the goals, and okay, oh, come on. I know after 40, 45 years, or max to max, after 57 years, I'm going to die. Die, the truth. I'm going to, everyone has to. So, if it is limited, then why not to have a nice B type of memory, which is your operational memory. That's the reason I, within my capacity, I meet more and more people, so I get access to their wisdom and knowledge. So, when you get access to, access to their wisdom and knowledge, what happens is that, uh, you get the compressed form of the memory, a quality compressed memory with them. Imagine early in the morning I was sitting with someone who was 75 to 80 years old and he is absolutely you know, one, of the, one of the kings in his, in, in his sector. So if I'm spending two hours with him, I'm getting a very compressed quality memory. So it's enhancing my memory B, which is your operational memory. So you just don't, don't learn from your experiments, which I always say that experience come from experiment, but not from the age. So you not only learn from your experiments, you also learn from others' people experience. Now how? Why? Why we do this? How we do this? In evolution, just 50,000 years ago, we developed language. And the reason why we can share wisdom with others, or knowledge with others, or stories with others, or even nonsense things with others, only because of the language. But language is not the essence of communication. The essence of communication is emotion. That's the reason one word. One might receive differently or one might receive different, differently because the emotions are different. We will not go there deep today. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, other men, um, I had this little time with kids, so I thought uh, I have to back with them. They are lovely kids, they are national boxers, state level boxers. Tomorrow they are going to Akola. Uh, Nishi is going to Akola. Uh, Pradnyan is going to Akola. Nishi is going to Akola. Even Ritika is going to Akola because they have won the DSO level. So going to Akola for the state level. Yesterday what happened that I, uh, not before yesterday, I, I had a very small little boy here, Om Paul. And he's an amazing boy, good IQ. And I was building a nice conversation with him and I decided to share that conversation with, um, on YouTube. And uh, uh, someone wrote that, hey, why are you using people for views? What nonsense is going on? I saw what I did. Come on. Now the question is that who is that someone? Then no, I had a very small, of course, a person like me, I, have, I look towards everything equanim with equanimity. What do you mean by that? It means if you appreciate me, I, I will say okay. And if you reject me, deject me, insult me, I say okay. Insult up to one level because I have a different um, relationship with the word insult and the memory. But um, yeah, other thing is like okay, if you appreciate me or if you don't like me, don't 
you dislike me, that's okay. See your perspective. That's how I am. And I've practiced that in Himalaya. For 1000 days, I've practiced uh, how to stay flan We'll not go there today also. So the point I was making is uh, some one gentleman or maybe a girl, I doubt the girl or the ladies will write that uh, because they have a different piece of evolution only, they have different history of evolution, they don't do all this. What is I think? Sometimes, what nonsense they have? What, is this? what nonsense they have? How can you write like this that I'm doing this? Oh, come on. No, no, it's not good for me. And I don't, uh, normally I don't block people on my YouTube because I think that one day he will watch the right video and maybe he will understand what nonsense is going in his mind. Right. So, or maybe his uh, memory, this operational memory is so bad. He has seen this only. Or maybe he's just nothing in his life to do. Maybe. Oh, I'm not interested in that. But the reason I'm sharing this with you so there are some people I've seen, some influencers, so-called influencers, I have no idea about what that word is, influencer or not. But uh, the influencers I've seen, I've seen some big, big people, big, big celebrities coming and going, giving the newspaper or maybe going for media and all that, big, big celebrities. Uh, they say that, don't say this, don't say that, you know, all that nonsense, how can you say this? I've seen one very big celebrity fighting with the audience digital audience in the comments but why I have written this and blah 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 he's a singer right? and uh, oh my god let me give an analogy imagine that you are in one room right let me let me show that room to you meanwhile you watch my kids play imagine that this is your YouTube or Facebook post right this is your YouTube or Facebook post and uh, every comment, every comment is like one, uh, one nail like this. Every comment is like one nail like this, right? Every comment, every comment is like one nail like this. Now nail is a nice thing. You can have, uh, you can use nail very correctly uh, to tie things. And nail is a nice, there's nothing wrong with the nail. Look towards nail with equanimity, right? With equanimity, clear? So, you consider comments, comments like this, it's like a nail and every time when you feel bad about the comment, you are, you are knocking your head on that nail. Who is that person? What he or she knows about your life? With what context that person is writing? Does that person have any understanding about your life? Has that person really understood the, what you want that person to understand? Has that person, has that maturity to understand what you are trying to say? Who is he? Who is she? To write on you? Doesn't make any sense to me. Next time, all those influencers and celebrities, you guys are big, big people. Uh, in case on social media, when you put something, uh, make sure if people are commenting. I think many many celebrities and many influencers have understood this. Right? If you comment, just ignorance is the best way. But it's not about you ignoring from eyes or ignoring from mind. It's like you ignore, you don't comment, but you feel bad about from inside that, hey, no, 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 still people are uh, talking about me and still people are, there's a word for this, I think. There's a word also given. There's one word, troll ho gaya, troll ho gaya, troll ho gaya. And she's trolled and he's trolled and the guy's going. We are looking for the reasons to go in depression, by the way. And so, you chala gaya, troll ho gaya, it's the depression which chala gaya. What nonsense here. Who is that person? I'm not disrespecting that person. I'm asking a very common sense question. Who is that person in your life? Who is that person in your life? Why you are giving so much authority to someone who is just sitting somewhere on the planet Earth and commenting on your video and then you get influenced by that comment? Who is that person? How? weak your personality is that you get influenced by someone who is who is who doesn't even exist in your life doesn't even exist with the, all due respect for me social media the reason why i approach social media is because it's a storage for me just a simple storage nothing else nice interactive storage it's like after 15 years or after 50 years or after 150 years even my grandson will see that see my grandfather used to do this on this particular day. This video, my grandson will watch. Uh, uh, we are not three, four, four hundred, five hundred years ago, at this example, take 2,500 years ago at the time of 
uh, Shri Gautam Buddha, there was no technology. There was no technology. So he started walking and reaching and reaching people. He did the train, the trainers program. But today all the people we have technology, it's a responsibility that if you have something which is worth sharing with the world, use technology and share it or capture it or store it. I see social media for you, for me, with all due respect, amazing work, Instagram and YouTube, they have done amazing work. Three years when I was in Himalayas, I was living a blissful life without the technology. I had a Nokia small phone, no technology, no WhatsApp, nothing, happy blissful life, no shoes, nothing, happy blissful life. You don't need technology to stay happy. Technology can, can, can maybe can help you to do, do work or fast track the process of work, but technology can't make you happy. Happiness is a different thing. Happy person is a happy person. Doesn't matter what that person is doing, happy person is a happy person. Your, your doing can't define, I'm doing this, that's the reason I'm happy. Your doing cannot define happiness. You're a happy person or you're a sad person. We'll not, we'll not go there today, happiness and sadness. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, boys and mems, keep working on your evolutionary memory, keep it aside, working on your, the memory which is really driving you. One last example then I have to end this conversation. Imagine there's a snake in front of you. If your operational memory is a memory of jungle man and the memory of the person who has learned the survival skills or the memory of the person who knows how to handle and hold the snake or even you know how to eat the snake in case of you're hungry if your operational memory is that then you will react differently your operational memory will take over but if your operational memory absent in case of snake then your evolutionary memory will take over why because in evolution we know it's an evolutionary memory, memory that snakes, even though snakes are our friends. Why? Because they eat rats and frogs. Frogs are not our friend. Why? Because they decrease the nutritional value of the soil. Rat is not our friend because they not only eat, they also spoil the food. Snake is a friend who eats snake, our enemies. I'm talking about real food war going going between the animals. I'm not talking about spirituality. Real, uh, watch it. Watch it. It's happening in front of your eyes. Watch it. Either you're busy in thinking or watching. You watch it. So snakes are good. Hardly two to three percent snakes are poisonous. But it's an evolutionary memory which takes over, and then you get scared, or you run, or you kill, or you do something. That's evolutionary memory. If you have the this memory, snakes are beautiful. My mother shouted on me one day when I said that I'm going for a snake handling camp. She shouted on me. That's the evolution of the journey. Getting your point? Okay. Thank you very much for your time. We'll meet again. This is Premon Auto Signing. I'm going to meet again.